So the amount of overwhelmingness that I have right here to show you is quite unbearable. <laughs> so hey guys, whoa. Hey guys, I have a lip haul for you. I'm gonna go group by group up in here so that way I'm going to link down below when everything is. So don't feel too overwhelmed. So the first thing I wanted to share with you guys before I even began my lip stuff are some of the lip products they had gotten to kind of nourish my lips. So I have a bunch today, and this first one was sent to me by Borghese, I think that's how you pronounce it, and it's a lip polish. Now I love this stuff, it smells like nothing. Um, and what it is, is it's almost like a really delicious lip balm with um, crystals of sugar in it. I like that. As you can see, the front of this, I don't know if you can see that. It has like balls. So you massage it on your lips like this. And then you take like a warm cloth and you wipe it off. I wish that they had this in a lip balm because it would be so nice. And then I have three lip balmy type things to share with you guys. I have the Skin Fix, which is really nice lip repair balm. And this is really, really nice, especially if you have like sensitive skin, sensitive lips or whatnot. This is fragrance free, so it feels really nice on your lips. This is what that looks like. It's almost a relatively thin balm, but it's really nice and hydrating, which is what I like about it. Um, the next one is a definitely a luxury brand lip product that I splurged on, and this is by Tatcha, and it's their Gold Camellia um, Nourishing Lip Balm. I've tried this a couple of times, and it is so freaking good. How beautiful is that packaging, though? Um, so this is what it looks like, and it has like a beautiful piece of gold on it, 24 karat gold. That's why it's so freaking fancy. Um, it has this beautiful citrusy like light scent to it. Um, and this is way thicker than the Skin Fix product, but this to me is like a great nighttime lip balm. And this is like going to be a new favorite. I love this stuff. All right, now on to the lip products here. We're gonna start ourselves off with a drugstore lippy. These lipsticks claim to be like the all-in-one lipstick. It's supposed to like prime, moisturize, but last on your lips. So I actually tried a bunch of these out and they are really hydrating, which is what I really love about it. Um, it's like glossy, it's really nice, but um, what I really like about it is that it almost slightly stains and, and definitely has longer wear on your lips than other lipsticks. So we're gonna try this ish out. I'm gonna share with you these colors. Um, my favorites by far are definitely Naughty Nude, which is like the perfect, beautiful, pinky, brownish nude. And I really love One of a Kind, which is a beautiful red color. So I'm gonna share with you the swatches right now. I really love the formula of these lipsticks. They are really hydrating and they feel really comfortable on the lips. Um, and they do have really nice lasting power. The one thing I will say about this that I really don't like is that it has a smell like plasticky and a sweet and sour candy kind of scent. And I really don't like that. Um, and it does linger a bit on your lips. So that's just one thing to note. But I do love the formula of these lipsticks. I do like the way that they last, even though they're really nice and like creamy and glossy. So on to creamy and glossy, I also was sent a bunch of lippies. So let me show you these colors. I've actually only tried like two or three of these products, um, two or three of the colors because I love them so much. Um, but I'm gonna do a swatch of these for you. Hopefully my lips don't um, fall off and feel really upset at me. So let's get into that from Delium Tools, and these are their uh, lip crayons, their auto lip crayons. Now, first off the bat, I love the packaging. I love that it is a crayon tip type thing, and you can just twist it up. I really do. I love the way these feel. I love how creamy they are on the lips, and you can, the one thing I do love about these over the Rimmel ones is that you can get a really nice, precise lip um, line with it. Now, the next thing I purchased was like a completely out of the whim random thing that I purchased and I actually really love the, the Too Faced like La Creme lipsticks and I think the name just got me. It just, it's called Unicorn Tears and I thought I needed it. 
Um, although, let's be honest, I don't ever wear anything in the blue color, so I don't know why I bought it. However, um, I thought it might be pretty. Like, just look at this color. Can you? I hope that you can see the iridescence fun on it. It's like crazy. So, let's see. Whoa! Like, straight out of a disco. It does feel so nice on the lips. However, I don't know when in the world I would ever wear this, um, but I just thought the name was really cool and that it looks really pretty swatched on my hand. So I don't know, when I figure out a way to make this a pretty stain, oh, it stains your lips like pink. <gasps> That's so pretty. This really is a unicorn. Oh, <gasps> my lips are pink. That's really darn cool, I'm not gonna lie. What? Wow, that's really awesome because that was the first time I actually was trying it. Um, so this actually really is like a unicorn. Holy bejesus. Last but not least, for sure not least, I have to share with you guys these. These are the new Jouer Lippies that are coming out um, in March. Right now they're pre-selling um, them right now. Um, and they are amazing. These are their new liquid lipsticks and you guys, <clears throat> best liquid lipsticks I've tried yet. So the thing I love about these are they are really lightweight on your lips and you guys know my lips are like made of Sahara Desert. I, I'm pretty sure they just took the Sahara Desert and placed it on my lips. Um, and all liquid lipsticks dry my lips out. However, it takes a while to actually dry, but when it does, it doesn't feel like dry on my lips at all, which is so, so nice. They last so long. So this is Patal de Rose, and this has been my favorite go-to. It's been on my lips for so long now. I can't stop wearing this color. And then the other color I got was this more on the brownish color. <clears throat> I'm so not refined. I kept saying it was noisette, but it's actually noisette, um, which is like such a pretty brownish color. So if you're into browns right now, this is definitely one to pick up. She also has amazing metallics that are in her line, which is really unique for a liquid lipstick. So I definitely want to check those out and you should too because these are fantastic. Thank you all so much for watching and don't forget if you haven't already click that subscribe button right over here if you want to stay tuned with all of my updates and my videos and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!